is Smart Consulting Sourcing, the only podcast about consulting procurement or how to buy consulting services. You'll get tips on how to use consulting, buy consulting, and managing the consulting. And now your host, Ellen Lafitte. Hello, and welcome back to Smart Consulting Sourcing, the only podcast about consulting procurement. I am Ellen, and today we are going to talk about improving your consulting sourcing maturity. But before we get into today's episode, let me give you guys a recap about our previous six level series episode. So partnering with your consulting suppliers is an important lever to optimize the ARI. So this tells us about how building relationship with the right suppliers can make all the difference in long-term success. Companies should plan ahead and have a dynamic list of suppliers that can grow and change with their needs. And the benefits of having a preferred list of suppliers include making effective buying decisions, increase bargaining power, faster procurement process, improve communication between vendors and buyers, and better control over your costs. So we also saw that strategic procurement requires understanding supplier needs for optimal solutions. It also involves skills such as spend management, performance measurement, and risk assessment for successful relationship building between the buyers and the sellers. So if you want to learn more about partnering with your consulting suppliers, please watch our previous episode. And for those watching on YouTube, you will see a little image that you can click on Follow us on YouTube and any other major streaming platform for more information like this. And if at any point you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. So let's get started on today's topic, which is our sixth and last level. Do you maximize the arrival of your consulting banks? And this is improving your consulting sourcing maturity. Because the only way to get the changes to stick is to change profoundly your ways of working. Well, first of all, all consulting sourcing maturity refers to the maturity of the practices that an organization will implement to use, buy, and manage consulting services. So organizations should aim to reach a high level of maturity where the teams use best-in-class practices and bring significant efficiency gains for the procurement group and the company as a whole. But before we can draw your path to excellence, you must first evaluate where you stand today. And actually, all companies don't need the same level of maturity. A small company might only need to become operational or standard, while larger companies should aim for the best-in-class. So if you want to know more about consulting procurement maturity, you can have a look at our maturity model on our website, consultingquest.com, in the insight section. So the purpose of our consulting procurement maturity grid is to help organizations understand where they stand today, where they should go in the future, and the value of doing so, and how to get there. So you can find this insight. It's called Diagnosis. Your consulting procurement maturity made simple. It's on our website, as I just said, consultingquest.com. So I'll, I'll drop the link in the comments. But coming back to your transformational journey, it's not something that happens overnight. It requires a holistic approach to the transformation. You need to rake the short-term wins, but also to prepare the foundations for long-term change of your ways of working. So that being said, uh, consulting sourcing maturity can be achieved with consistent effort. You can start by looking at where your consulting sourcing is currently, identifying the areas of improvement and defining where you want to go. And once you have point B, A, when you, where you start and point B, where you go, then you can start tracing your transformation path. But you see that something here is missing. And that's the when. When do you want to start? And when do you want to reach the final target? So don't hesitate to ask a consulting sourcing expert to, for advice as well, because their experience is invaluable. And seeing a situation through an upside lens could offer insight you may have overlooked. So all in all, consulting sourcing maturity entails a lot of work. But if done properly, it can bring huge advantages to the table. And when I say that, many people think of traditional financial metrics, such as savings and cost avoidance. And indeed, 
managing consulting expenses can lead to substantial saving, which can create value for the organization in several ways, such as adding to the EBITDA and freeing up cash. But what they forget are the less tangible effects, such as capturing the maximal value and impact from your projects to increase your productivity and accelerate your strategy. What you should expect as well is an increased collaboration between your business lines and your procurement teams, but also between your organizations and your suppliers. So by managing your investment right, you will also be able to mitigate the risk of project failure and make sure every penny you invest will bring you value. And ultimately, it will give you an edge compared to your competitors. So isn't something that we all try to achieve with our organization? So, but let's not forget that even though we are only talking about how to better manage your consulting, it is still a transformation journey. And transformations are notoriously difficult, and the majority of businesses fail. Even those who initially succeed do not always keep the adjustments they make. So according to a study done by the Harvard Business School, about 70% of improvements implemented by organizations fail to stick. 70%. So leaders looking to take their transformation efforts up and not should make sure they're on top of their game. When it comes to consulting sourcing maturity, it, it might sound intimidating, but there are three simple steps you can follow that will ensure your success. With this in place, before you know it, those changes will feel like thicker nature. So those of you who want to ensure that transformations stick around for the long haul should invest early in a transformation journey. That way you can avoid change disintegrating even after it's been put in place. The first thing, you need to define the ways of working and translate them into processes and workflows. The most basic process is, of course, how to source consultants. Describe what are the different steps and the different roles involved in the decision. But it becomes trickier when you have to integrate consulting into your strategic cycle because procurement is not the only one involved anymore. You might argue that procurement is not the only one involved in buying consulting as well, actually. And of course, it resonates with what I just said. If you don't involve your top management in the transformation, it will not work. And finally, you need to explain how decisions about consulting will be made. I'm thinking make or buy and demand management, of course. And when it's done, don't forget to explain to your teams. Don't forget that the maximum risk in the process is always at the interfaces. And that's my personal experience speaking. I remember in my first job, how the engineering, engineering group had perfected their processes, but they, they had forgotten that it would impact our group, the maintenance group. And all in all, they had gained maybe a couple of days in the process, but the client at the end, was served two to three days later than before. So overall, that was a loss, right? So when you work on your processes, always try to take into account the perspective of your end user. So be customer centric, in other words. So second, you need to build the right tools for your team. What is that? It can be the taxonomy of capabilities that you will use internally. Uh, the definitions of the different tiers of consulting firms, of any glossary that makes sense, so you all speak the same language. Having a manual, a handbook, can be an absolutely lifesaver in this case, providing all the necessary details for each step of the process and providing guidelines for making the right decisions. Another lifesaver is to build a grid for a make or buy analysis, so your teams don't reinvent the wheel at every project. And this grid should define the criteria to be used, how to use them, and how to read the results. So the goal here is to make sure that the people will apply your new processes and do it right. The implication of failing to do so might be disastrous for the company. For example, one of the big insurance companies who, with whom we operate was slammed with regulatory findings that prompted it to alter its work practices. The um, organization required to inventory all of its customer terms and conditions, as well as supporting procedures, determine whether those terms, conditions, and processes breach regulation, and then remediate and implement new controls to eliminate violations. 
So this was a massive operation that required hundreds of specialists and tens of millions of dollars. However, the firm had no plan for how to continue the work once the consultants left. And as a result, it faced regulatory issues. If leaders had put a toolbox in place to carry out tasks from the start, the current problems may have been avoided. So if you train your teams to make sure that they understand the purpose and the best practices, and if you professionalize your procurement teams and your business lines, then so be it. And it might, you might also need to coach some of your colleagues. So third, you need to leave the parody. You know, change starts with the top. Leaders need to understand why the change is necessary and what will be the benefit for the organization, but also the impact for them personally as individuals. And then only will they commit to the change. But they will need to show with literal acts and symbolic acts that communicates to rank and file employees their commitment to the transformation. Because when leaders don't model the change, they won't adopt it, the organization risks backsliding. So success is in common. And if and when it comes brief to finish the transformation journey and prevent things from coming apart, leader must prioritize sustainability, incorporate it into procedures and model new ways of working. Because when it comes to long-term change, you can just wink it, according to the wisdom of Peter Turker's famous quote. Now, one of the biggest issues when buying consulting services is that procurement in many companies has no idea what the business lines are up to. Procurement doesn't have an, an overview of who is spending on what and with you. This get very hard to improve if you don't know where you stand. But at the same time, business lines need to be involved in buying consulting. It's really about finding the right balance between the right amount of procurement and the right amount of business line. So how can you fix it? By leverage digital. So all of those new digital platforms, they do two things. First, they give you an overview of what's happening, even though you are not involved. So what's great about it is that no matter where your organization stands on the consulting maturity grid, if you implement this, you'll have all the information and information is key. And so this is where you start taking control of your transformation. And second thing the platform gives you is that if the one you choose is flexible, of course, then you'll be able to accompany you in the process of growing up, of going up the maturity ladder. The only issue is that there is no dedicated solution to consulting. You know, I was discussing with a very big Brazilian bank the other day, and they have SRM and contract management in place. The issue they face is that it's very hard to automate contract management with consultants because you need to discuss every single close in the contract. So the mainstream tools were built for big direct categories and do not target the small indirect spends. As the contract varies from one to another, it gets hard to automate it and streamline the whole process. So I truly believe that for some categories, you really require a dedicated tool. And that's why we decided to build one actually. So you need a digital platform that emphasizes the best practices and encourages collaboration between business lines and procurement. And all the things that we talk about in the previous five episodes are part of this journey. So what you want to do is that you want to create the condition for all those things to stop it and just to stay. The right processes, tools, mindset, and digital platform are the things you need to succeed your transformation journey towards a more mature consulting sourcing capability. So to conclude today's episode, consulting sourcing maturity is key to successful transformation. To develop this maturity, organizations should invest in defining processes and workflows, building tools such as taxonomy or grids with megabyte analysis to train their teams on best practices. Digital platform can also provide an overview of expenditure and be flexible enough to accompany the organization up the ladder towards a more mature state. Yet it's not just about technology. Mindset and literal symbolic acts play an important role too. By implementing a few key principles, we have all that's required to realize two success here. 
Now we can maximize our impact while monitoring costs and creating a collaborative atmosphere. And this is how savvy professionals optimize their return on investment. It's a triple victory. Well, I hope now that you know how to improve your consulting sourcing maturity, or you can just come and ask us at Consulting Quest. Thank you for listening. That marks the end of our podcast. So keep an eye up for me for next week when I return with another fascinating topic. Till then, stay safe and happy sourcing. And if you have any questions regarding today's topics or consulting sourcing in general, remember you can always contact me directly on LinkedIn or by email because I'm always game for a chat. Bye and see you next week. Au revoir. You've been listening to Smart Consulting Sourcing, the only podcast about consulting procurement. We hope you enjoyed the show.